Hey everyone, what is happening? All right, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about multiplying and dividing a polynomial by a monomial. So last class we looked into what happens when we multiply and divide a polynomial by a constant. And what we're going to do is we're going to just do a quick little recap of what that means is when we multiply a polynomial by a constant. So we've got a polynomial which is 4x squared plus 2x minus 1. That's just some random example I thought of. And we're going to put a constant out here of 3. All right. Check. And we're going to put a constant out here of 3. So now what that does, this constant only multiplies to our coefficients. It only affects the numbers. And this is called the distributive property. So we go 3 times 4 is 12, and we've got our x squared. Then we're going to go 3 times 2, which is 6, and we've got that x. And then we go 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And we have our multiplying a polynomial by a constant. Next, we've got dividing a polynomial by a constant. And we looked into this, so we've got 4x squared plus 8x minus 10 and we're going to divide it by 2. Well what we're going to do is we're going to get the sum of two or more fractions. And what that means is just from last class we have 4x squared over 2 plus 8x squared over 2 and minus 10 over 2. Now what we've done is we've broken it down so that each fraction is very, very easy to use. And what we have is when we divide by a constant, it only affects the coefficient in our polynomial. So we go 4 divided by 2 is 2, and we're left with 2x squared. 8 divided by 2 is 4, so we're left with 4x. And then we have 10 divided by 2, which is just 5, and we get negative 5. Our final polynomial is 2x squared plus 4x minus 5. And you can always check your answer by going 2x squared plus 4x minus 5. And we can put that 2 out front. And we can go back and multiply. Remember, that's the opposite of division. And we get 4x squared. The 2 is multiplied by that 4, and we get plus 8x. And then 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. And look at that. We got the exact same thing that we started with. Fantastic. Okay, so now we're going to go on and we're going to multiply a polynomial by a monomial. So what does that mean? Well, let's think of some random number. We've got polynomial of 3x squared plus 7. And we've got a monomial of 4x. Well, just like we did before, we multiplied our coefficients together by that constant. So what we've got is the 4 is going to be multiplying the 3 and the 7, and the x is going to be multiplying the x squared and the invisible 1 right there. So we have 4 times 3 is 12, and x to the 1 times x to the 2 is actually x to the 3. Remember our property of exponents is when we have the same base and we're multiplying, we add our exponents, so we have 12x cubed. And then we've got 4 times 7, which is 28. And x times 1 is just x. And we have multiplied a polynomial by a monomial. All right, let's try one more. 6x times 2x cubed minus 3x plus 1. All right, so we use the distributive property again. And we get 6 times 2, which is 12. x to the 1 times x to the 3. We add our exponents, and we get x to the 4. And then we've got 6 times negative 3, which is negative 18. And we've got x to the 1 times x to the 1, which is x to the 2. And 6 times positive 1 is 6. And x times a 1 there is just x. And that is our answer. All right, let's go down to dividing by a monomial. 
And we have Let's try this. We've got 6x squared plus 12x divided by 2x. And we're also going to do the sum of two or more fractions here. So what we get is we get 6x squared over 2x plus 12x over 2x. So we ask ourselves, well, what we ask ourselves, what is 6 divided by 2? And we get 3. 2 goes into 6 three times. Now, when we, you might recall x squared divided by x to the 1. Well, what do we do when we divide, th divide things with the same base? We subtract their exponents. 2 minus 1 is 1. So we get x by itself. And then we bring our symbol down. We get plus. And 12 divided by 2 is 6. x to the 1 divided by x to the 1 equals x to the 0. And anything to the 0 is just 1. So we get 3x plus 6. And we're going to try one more. 3x squared plus 12x minus 15x to the 4. And we're going to divide it by 3x. So we break it down into its own fractions. So 3x squared over 3x plus 12x over 3x minus 15x to the 4 over 3x. We divide our coefficients and we get 3 divided by 3 is 1. x squared divided by x to the 1 equals x to the 1 because we subtract our exponents and we get 1x. 12 divided by 3 is 4 and x divided by x is just 1 so we're going to leave it as 4 and we get 15 divided by 3 is 5 and x to the 4 divided by x to the 1 is x to the 3. And there's our polynomial. Now I'd like you to try these two questions, please. 4x times 3x squared minus 4x minus 2. And our division one will be 5x squared minus 25x plus 10x to the 4 over 5x. Good luck.